All right, so I'm probably a little late to this, but Jesus Christ, with all this corona bullshit, it's really set me back. So, uh, I'm going to give my final verdict of the Strong the Hedgehog movie, and this will be the end, my friends. It's going to be the end. The intro of the Sega was really good in the beginning of the movie. The first two minutes were pretty good. I mean, there were some explosions, a little action, but then guess what happens? Just, just guess what happens. The movie pauses, and Sonic is trying to act like Deadpool. I'm dead fucking serious. I called it. He introduces himself, gives you a bad story, and gets to see Sonic run around in Green Hill Zone. So there's some excitement. It's pretty nice for a few fucking minutes. Oh, and also, uh, just to mention, there is baby Sonic. Uh, ain't he fucking cute? No, he's really not cute. He's a fucking abomination. We find out he's raised by an owl, and the group of the kidners are after him because he didn't stay hidden. He has a hidden power. Wait, it just hit me. Hidden power? Fucking echidnas? Fucking supersonic. Holy shit, we don't get any of that. So the owl uses one of the rings to open a portal to our world, and basically Sonic lives on Earth, watching the human society, the population, and pretty much learning from us, and also hides out in a den, because you know, that's fucking Sonic. We meet the cop, which Sonic refers to him as Donut Lord. And he only calls him that because he plays and fucking talks to donuts. Wow, fucking clever. Then you see his girlfriend or his wife, whatever the fuck she is, which Sonic calls her pretzel lady, because you know she bends herself like a pretzel. How fucking clever. I mean, these jokes are just great, man. This tells you right here how bad this fucking movie is. The jokes are so cheap, man. It's the same kind of jokes you see in any fucking kid's movie. Stupid humor, no creativity. And you can see that they try so hard. And then there's times they don't even fucking try at all. But it looks like a movie within 10 minutes. I figured it out. It's basically focusing on how lonely Sonic is. And it's nothing more than fucking road trips, man. That's all they're doing. They're on fucking road trips. Then they decide they should ask Dr. Robotnik for help. You get Robotnik, he doesn't even look like him. No suit, no goggles. The mustache is hideous to look at. The personality of Dr. Robotnik is horrible. I mean, honestly, it's just Jim Carrey being fucking Jim Carrey. It's like they told him, hey, just babble random shit and be yourself. Robotnik has never acted this way before. Maybe in the cartoon, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's not even canon. Canon or not, he didn't even act that fucking random nor fucking stupid. He uses little robots to find clues. You get to see what Sonic's foot looks like because a lot of the fan base is like uh, always on some kind of fucking debate. What does his fucking feet look like? Well, here you go, you fucking sick weirdos. Oh, Sonic also makes a fucking uh, bucket list, which is autistic as fuck. So uh, every scene you see in the trailer is pretty much like the best parts of the movie, the highlight, and honestly, they're not even a fucking highlight. I mean, this is like the best they could do. Everything in that trailer was the only like good parts, if you even want to call them good. Just to wrap this shit up though, man, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna sit here and just review the whole fucking movie. I'm just gonna give my opinion. I mean, seeing that scene where Jim Carrey's acting like a fucking dumbass and dancing and shit, that was all Jim Carrey. That was not fucking Dr. Robotnik. And then, you know, just when the fuck is Sonic getting a fucking rubber bands and shit? And it's just his personality is so fucking off. I mean, I was so fucking bored. I mean, my mindset was already fit. Like, I already knew what the hell I was, I was going to walk into, man. I was like, this movie's going to suck. But I checked it out like a couple days after the movie came out. It's just like I said, it's coronavirus just sent me back so much. Now, Sonic Kid is back. Papa came back with the fucking milk and the fucking cigarettes. Actually, you know what? I still gotta go back and get those. <laughs> but we, we gotta finish this first. I mean, for some reason, too, they decided, hey, some little girl is the reason why Sonic has his shoes. Like, they're trying to make an origin for Sonic when he's like a baby and shit. It's just so out of fucking whack. And it just doesn't make any fucking sense. And then the ending, you know, I think the ending was like the best fucking part. Well, I'm, I'm like mid-ending. Because he gets into that battle with Dr. Robotnik. Anyway, he starts fucking like doing like, I think it was like a, a homecoming attack and just attacking Dr. Robotnik. And then finally, he opens up the portal, gives him one more hit, and he sends his ass away. 
And then, of course, you know, he moves in with the humans and shit like that, too. So after all that shit, he finally fucking decides, hey, you know what, I'm gonna stay with the fucking humans. They become, like, a fucking family or some shit. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Sonic X, but more fucking cancerous. And I think, like, the biggest thing, like, the most miracle thing happened. That moment when you see Tails at the very end, I was actually excited to see Tails. Like, holy shit, this is actually another fucking Sonic the Hedgehog character. Holy shit. And I mean, I fucking hate Tails. I hate him so much. But just that one time in my life, that one time, I was so relieved to see Tails. I just wanted to look at him and be like, you beautiful, magnificent bastard. I missed your fucking ugly ass cancerous face. But God damn it, I fucking love you right now. Just give me a hug. I, I, I shit you not. And then what really pisses me off about this entire film, the whole thing that just pisses me the, the fuck off. At the very end, like at the ending of the credits, you see Dr. Robotnik, he's been in that fucking Mushroom Hill Zone for a little while. And he's got the fucking mustache. He's got the fucking goggles. And it's like, what the fuck? He's actually acting like Dr. Robotnik. Why the fuck did you wait until the end to make him look like Dr. Robotnik? That doesn't make any fucking sense. And the thing is, too, Dr. Robotnik was introduced in Sonic 1. And he already had the fucking mustache. And now you're introducing Tails. And Tails didn't show until fucking Sonic 2. And Sonic 2 had fucking Dr. Robotnik still with the mustache. What I'm trying to say is, it just doesn't fucking work. Like, why would you even do that? Why would you sit here and make me watch this bullshit movie with nothing but road trips and all this fucking pointless kitty bullshit humor that you don't even try? And you give me what I want at the last fucking minute. The last fucking minute, you give me what I want. Like, I don't see why everybody is, like, so happy about this film. Like, they literally butt-fucked us, man. And they butt-fucked Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's like, my, you know, it's not the best movie, but... It's decent. Like, bitch, it's not even fucking decent. Then you got motherfuckers over here, like, having orgasms. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! This is so hot! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! It's just like, get the fuck over yourself. This movie is trash. And if you like this movie, you're obviously trash. And, you know, the sad thing is they've got fucking sequels already planned and shit. It was gonna have a sequel. Why? This movie should have never been fucking made. I mean, live action with CGI just does not fucking work. Sonic just stands out. I mean, you can tell he's not really fucking there. I mean, you, you can obviously see it. Like, none of the characters are... Even their fucking character, you, their personalities. I don't mean to keep fucking rambling on and on and on and keep repeating myself. But I just don't understand how you motherfuckers can sit here and say, This movie is fucking good. And now they got fucking sequels. And now they're going to be shitting these fucking things out. And you motherfuckers are going to keep fucking watching it. And it's like, why? I think this coronavirus has really got us all fucking crazy. Like, it's been sneaking up on us. And it's like, maybe you know what? Maybe Sonic the Hedgehog has something to do with this shit. All right, I'm, like, really starting to, like, get chest pains and shit. Because this movie, like, really pissed me off. And me having to talk about it doesn't really fucking help the fact... I mean, I had to sit through this fucking godforsaken movie. I'd rather fucking hang myself. And you know what? I told myself I'd rather fucking hang myself than here I am and I haven't even fucking hung myself. What was it that I said? I'm gonna wear that fucking noose around my neck and every time I think about possibly looking at the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, I'm gonna look down and say, not today. But you know what? Here I am. I went to go see the fucking movie and I didn't even fucking kill myself. So you know what? I guess I could give it some justice then. If I didn't fucking hang myself, and maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought of this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a fucking piece of shit. But, I'm alive. But until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, keep on writing. Peace.